Welcome to the Pete Delatore Business Hour, a daily focus on late breaking news on business opportunities and economic development in South Florida, featuring the movers and shakers of our community. And now, your host, Pete Delatore. Good morning, South Florida. This is Pete Delatore, and uh, welcome once again to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here. On 880 AM, The Biz, we are broadcasting live from Miami, Florida, and being heard around the world on 880thebiz.com. What a beautiful, beautiful morning in South Florida. I'm enjoying this. Uh, Great weather, beautiful weather, and it's just invigorating, and it gets us up and running, and I just think it's uh, it's, uh, just positive and and, uh, just gives us uh, the energy we need to keep doing what we're doing as uh, a lot of you know that are with us every morning, we're on Monday through Friday here, 8 to 9 a.m., and welcome to our new listeners, and we're gaining new listeners every day, and, and really, really ecstatic about that. Uh, again, our focus is economic development and business opportunities in South Florida. There is so much to talk about. This month, we've started a new series of monthly themes. We're focusing on entrepreneurship in South Florida, and we're calling it Biz Innovators Month. We've had some great segments, great guests to talk about so many things regarding entrepreneurship and small business development. We are in a mecca for biz small businesses, uh, one of the top two in the country. So uh, we need to we need to talk about what's happening and the opportunities that are out there. Today's show is sponsored by FIU College of Business, Kathy Pareto and Associates, PS Business Parks, Redbird Chiropractic, and Inspire HR. We have an amazing, amazing lineup of guests today. It is a pack pack program. Let me start my first guest. Uh, This, of course, is uh, from uh, a great, great partner of the program, the FIU College of Business, Rose Angel Quintero, who is the Assistant Director Executive and Professional Education at the FIU College of Business. And our topic today, a very interesting one, is along the lines of executive education service and how that is helping the local economy, the local business community. So we'll have Rose Angel on in a moment. My second guest, we couldn't get him on yesterday. He um, he had some issues come up at the last minute, but we will be bringing him on shortly. Jerry Reyes, Way Out Mobile. We're going to continue my quote-unquote reality show here, the involvement of my mobile application. My friends, the future is now, and this is a viable, exciting way to grow and market and promote your business. My third guest, she is back again. We started a series two weeks ago, Sally Viadba. She is an executive coach. Her organization is called New Dawn Enterprise, and the topic of our conversation today is is relationship building for your business. It is absolutely critical. It has to be a priority and has to really be a culture in the way that you grow your business. And she's going to share her thoughts on that. You don't want to miss that segment. And we're going to wrap it up with another Around Town with Clara Serrano, Freedom Concierge Services, to give us an update on all the events and restaurant openings and things that are going on here in South Florida. And there's always so much to do because we also believe the fact that we work hard. We want to play hard as well and enjoy. And it's going to be another fabulous, fabulous weekend with the weather. And uh, actually, it's it's the off the uh, it's the off weekend with with NFL football. Uh, as you all know, uh, it, we've had NFL football every single weekend since the beginning of September. This is the weekend before the Super Bowl, and we'll chit-chat a little bit about that next week. I think we'll have some fun with that. Of course, uh, when we get to our segment with uh, Jerry Reyes, we're going to talk about mobile applications. And don't forget to download my free mobile application. Just search for Pete Delatore on any of the platforms out there, and uh, we're going to have some fun with that. Very interactive and very informative. All right. Let me now bring on to the show, and I believe we have her on the line, Rosenio Quintero, who's, again, Assistant Director, Executive and Professional Education at FIU College of Business. Good morning. Good morning, Pete. How are you? Doing terrific. Uh, Thank you so much for being on the the show, and and are you keeping warm? Yes, I am. It's actually uh, nice to wake up to this type of weather, and 
um, because I am joining you this morning. I missed my morning run, which is okay. I can do that later on. It's, it's a little chilly for a run, I think. Well, uh, I thank you for being on the show. And as you know, we have a great partnership with FIU College of Business. Uh, they are they are making an enormous impact in our community and helping to grow business, promote entrepreneurship. And, of course, this being the month on the show that we are talking up uh, the uh, entrepreneurship, the spirit, the everything that it takes to to build a new business. And and obviously, FIU College of Business has been a major player in the community uh, on that line. Now, before we get started, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, Pete, um, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity to um, talk about a topic that I love so much, which is FIU Miami and executive education. I have been, I was born in Venezuela, so I've been in Miami for about 27 years now, um, and I've been with FIU since I was 17. I pursued my degrees at FIU, so for many reasons, I am very um, lucky to have this position to represent the community and the university in my role as associate director for executive education. Let's talk about some of the uh, the services that you provide. Uh, so we have a lot of listeners who are you know, considering uh, 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 ramping up their education, possibly going back to school, getting another degree, and they're looking at, you know, a, a business degree. And, and not only that, uh, the type of, of, of education that will allow them, and you know, to pursue, a, you know, an executive position one day or just to run their business as an executive. Uh, what are some of the services that uh, you can share with us? So, Pete, we offer uh, several types of services within our portfolio at the Office of Executive Education. We uh, offer executive education programs that are highly that are customized for um, different types of organizations to um, help them succeed in this very competitive uh, business world. We also work with individuals to help them. We, do, we serve as a career um, management type um, service where we help them discover their potential through assessments, through different types of assessments. Um, and so with that, we guide them and we... Um, direct them towards either an open enrollment certificate program, which they're able to just um, sign up through our website. Um, we're also we're able to work with different companies and the senior executives to address specific challenges they are currently facing. So in essence, we have customized programs that we develop in partnership with the organization senior management. We also work um, with individuals through our open enrollment programs. All right, now let's let's get down. Um, you know, we have a lot of listeners that tune into the show every day, and uh, they're, they're thinking, okay, uh, I, I want to enhance my education. I, I want to grow. You know, what are some of the things that I can look forward to uh, with what what you're doing at the university, and 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 how can that make a difference in my life? So, if someone has uh, has been working in the HR field, human resources, but they do not have any type of certificate to um, sort of um, acknowledge their years of experience, we they can come and take a certificate program with us um, to perhaps maybe review some of the, what they already um, are doing, currently doing, or expand our knowledge um, and actually become professionally certified through the uh, Society of Human Resources. So, if someone or if they want to change their career and they're not exactly sure where to go, we can help them sort of discover what areas are their strengths and where they have um, a passion for and where they think they can be very um, useful. Uh, so we have project management, for example. That's another area that we have through open enrollment programs. We have um, supply chain. We have certificate in international supply chain management. We have um, certified treasury professional payroll so depending on which area they are, we have an extensive um, offering of different programs that they can apply to. They can, uh, we help them do a review course, and then they can take the exam. So we help them through the entire process. All right, so you take them by the hand. You, 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 you really get to know them and, and what's important to them and where they want to go and, 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 and lead them in the direction that, that best connects uh, exactly. with their personal goals and objectives. Um, now, uh, we're not going to get into any specifics or details, and we talked about this off-air, but if, can you just share one small story about how you help someone, possibly uh, someone that, that's been in the business world for a period of years, and they went back to school, and, and through your guidance and your colleagues, how you 
were able to help that person go to the next level through their business or through their, through their career? Sure. We, have, we, have, we were working with a manufacturing company, and um, so we were working with their senior team developing a total quality management program. Um, in that program, they have very basic um, entry-level employees that were working the plant, the floor. Um, so after going through our program, the lady approached me, and because we, we, we made a connection with them. It was a 10-week program. And so after the program ended, she connected with me, wrote me a very nice message saying that um, she was very thankful for the opportunity for the company sponsoring her to attend this program. And because of that and, and realizing that she has the potential to continue learning, she had decided to come back to school and finish her bachelor's degree. Um, so that's one area where people sometimes, oftentimes, they feel that they're done with school or that it's too late for them to, 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 to pursue a degree. And so that's, that's a very simple example, but it happens very often when people think or, or believe their education has ended, and we're able to um, inspire them to realize there's many areas and, and ways that they can continue advancing their skills um, through executive education and professional development programs. I, I don't, you know, I, I'm of the opinion that um, uh, we, we should never stop trying to grow and learn and, and mm-hmm. go to the next level. Uh, and it's probably more important than it's ever been. The, the business world is more competitive than ever. And there's so much similarities in services and products. And what's going to stand out is, is your level of knowledge, your insights, and that's where you can really bring value to your clients, to the, to, to the, to the customers of your business. And not only that, but share that idea, those ideas with your colleagues, with your coworkers. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with, with starting to you know, do a little spark of just really uh, high-level uh, ideas, best practice ideas, and, and just everybody benefits from that. And I think the work that you do with your colleagues is, is, is amazing. We're about to wrap up our, our, our discussion today, but I have an interesting question to ask you. What drives you and your colleagues to do what you do? Just having the opportunity to, to make an, a difference in someone's life um, by helping them realize their um, individual powers, um, it, it's an amazing feeling, um, which we're very grateful for, to be able to help someone, one person at a time, one organization at a time, one sector of the industry at a time, to help them realize um, the different resources that we have in Miami at FIU to be able to advance their careers or advance uh, a company's strategic goals, not only in a local area, but also internationally. At the Office of Education, we work with many institutions outside of the United States. We work with many faculties from all over the world, strategic partners. So basically our job is to share that message and inspire and motivate people to continue advancing their careers, their, their aspirations to learn more, um, empowering them to have a more fulfilled life in terms of um, making sure that they realize there's many ways that they can advance um, th- their careers. So it's very it, it's very motivational to us to make sure that we work with um, different institutions, governments. Uh, for example, um, in China, they have an interest in investing in real estate. Um, so we're putting a program together to, to do an educational exchange program where they can come and learn more about how to do business, uh, real estate business in the U.S., so in many ways, we're supporting that economic development through our programs. But again, we work very um, individually. We work with individuals and we work with organizations, um, nonprofit, profit, small, large, medium-sized businesses. So having that flexibility to share education outside of a classroom, um, it's, 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 it's a great feeling. And it's very motivational for us to show up every day at work. Well, congratulations to you. I, I, I can hear the enthusiasm, the energy. Great job, and and, uh, kudos to you and everyone there. Uh, For the listeners who are tuning in today and they want to find out more about uh, what it is that you guys do specifically there, what is the best way for them to get the information they need? Sure. For more information and the latest offerings we have programs, uh, please visit our website at epe.fiu.edu or call our offices at 305-348-4217. 
And we also invite you to come visit our campuses. We have our main campus on 8th Street and our Brickell um, campus on 1101 Brickell Avenue. Um, SIU is beautiful. Next year we'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary. So um, I please call us and, and we can arrange for a tour. It is a beautiful campus. Well, um, I'm, uh, I'm a alumni of FIU, so I can, I can continue to echo what you just said. Listen, thank you so much for being on the program this morning. Great information, and uh, have a fantastic day. Thank you, Pete. Thank Take you care. Well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we're going to go now to our first break. But when we come back, we're going to have Jerry Reyes, Way Out Mobile, to talk about digital mobile applications. You don't want to miss this, folks, because, again, I'm sharing my own reality story here on how I am rolling out my mobile application. So uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. Make it your business to get to know and learn about the globally ranked graduate business programs at Florida International University. The Chapman Graduate School of Business is currently offering highly renowned MBAs, including the Executive MBA and a Healthcare MBA, as well as eight specialized master degrees. Classes start every August and January in three convenient locations, the main Miami campus, the Broward Pine Center in Pembroke Pines, more recently, the -the state-of-the-art facility in the center of Brickell Avenue's financial district. Get to know more about them at business.fiu.edu or call them at 305-348-0148. Don't have time to eat smart with your busy lifestyle? fit to go cooks and delivers healthy, balanced meals to your office every day so you can check that off your to-do list. fit to go lets you customize your meals as much as you like at no additional cost. There are no contracts or commitment. Just pay as you go. Call fit to go to schedule complimentary meals for your office today. 305-718-3858. Kathy Pareto and Associates is an independent fee-only investment management and financial planning firm. The firm's certified financial planners provide personalized ongoing or hourly-based financial planning and investment management services. More and more individuals and families are using the services of fee-only independent advisors to help them with their personal financial plans and investments. You may be asking why. The reason for this trend is simple. With a fiduciary fee-only advisor, you have a dedicated and unbiased professional that not only has your best interests at heart, but also adheres to the highest standards of ethics within the financial services industry. Kathy Parade and Associates has been recognized in Worth Magazine as a top 250 wealth advisor in 2008 and a top 10 most dependable wealth managers for women in Forbes Magazine. Call them today at 305-648-9814 to set up a complimentary initial consultation or visit them at the web at www.kathyparedo.com. That's Kathy with a C. Attorney Eric Deeb owns and operates Atlantic Title and Escrow Services, a fully licensed and insured title company with a staff having over 25 years of combined experience. They are ready to take on issues as they arise and ensure a smooth and timely closing. The firm also works with distressed property owners to resolve their foreclosure issues via short sale with very favorable outcomes or via loan modifications with significant principal reduction. Please contact Attorney Eric Deeb at Atlantic Title and Escrow Services today at 305 854 26 Welcome back to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. And now, your host, Pete Delatore. Welcome back, all my friends, to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. We are broadcasting live from Miami. But heard around the world at 880thebiz.com. Before we move on with Jerry Reyes, Way Out Mobile, let me share with you uh, a little bit of great information on one of our sponsors, Red Bird Chiropractic. Your greatest wealth is, of course, it's your health. And by health, they don't mean that you have to take Advil or a cortisone shot for your pain. If you have neck pain, low back pain, headaches, knee pain, 
Don't ignore this. At Red Bird Chiropractic, they can help get to the true cause of the pain so that it does not return, and they do this naturally. They do Gentile instrument adjustments to your spine. They have a no-way policy, and they have very affordable fees. And if your insurance does not cover it, that's even better news. Call them today for an appointment at 305-763-8880. That is 305-763-8880. All right. On the line, we have the man himself. The future is now. Uh, And that is the guy that is uh, just making a lot of noise in the community out here uh, because he he represents an amazing, amazing change in our lives and our business lives, and that is digital mobile applications. Jerry Reyes, Way Out Mobile. What's happening, brother? Good morning, sir. Uh, great to hear your voice. Everything's going well. How are you? I'm doing terrific, man. And as, as we started doing this two weeks ago, uh, we have now Pete's reality show regarding his <laughs> mobile application. And, uh, of course, uh, I, I'm, I'm the guinea pig here, and then... I'm going through this uh, this experience and learning about things uh, every single day uh, and how to not just get a mobile app, but how to make it work for me, how to how to how to grow my business and get so many good people involved and get get their feedback. And one of the things that you have um, have uh, uh, developed is this this marketing plan, this rollout plan. And, And if you don't mind, we have a lot of news listeners today. So I just want to go over those five steps first briefly and then return back back to what we're doing this month which is the first step this is uh, now you know as we're trying to market and roll out our our new mobile application so tell us a little bit about that first of all as much as much as i would like to take credit for the ability to have created that marketing plan it actually comes from some of the top business ivy league schools that have uh, studied the uh, phenomena of mobile uh, technology, and they have produced it out there because so many of us have actually purchased the state-of-the-art phone, the state-of-the-art mobile app, and really don't know how to use it. And the word of the day would be fear. And that fear has frozen a lot of people from actually taking advantage of one of the most effective marketing tools that we have today. The marketing system consists of five steps over a period of six months, and they are, of course, awareness, number one, making everybody aware that you actually have a mobile app. Number two, engagement, having your users actually start to use it. Number three, monetization, how to make money on it and actually how to have it produce money even when your store is closed. Uh, number, are you there? I'm here. Go ahead. My, go ahead. Number four, number four would be loyalty, and eventually we get to growth. So now that your loyal base of, uh, of uh, dedicated subculture uh Customers now start duplicating it themselves and growing your business exponentially. Those five steps take six months to actually have a successful mobile app in your business. Now, there's one pre-step that we haven't talked about, and that's the actual development of the site. And 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 it's not just putting a site together, but but you and I were talking the other day about really uh, asking the big question: Why are you considering getting a site? Um, and and what type of business? So it isn't just putting a generic site together, correct? No, there's a lot that you can find on the internet with regards to what is mobile technology, what is mobile digital marketing. Uh, there's a lot of misnomers out there. The fact of the matter is, there's a number of ways that you can uh, express your business, uh, making your website mobile friendly, making it responsive, making a, a mobile website or a mobile application. There are pros and cons to each one. And much like uh, your one outfit doesn't fit for every occasion, neither does this one type of of application fit for all kinds of business. It depends on your business model and what your objectives and goals are in your business. Jerry, this is a a real-life question that was posed to me about, I'm going to say, two weeks ago, give or take. I love those. I love those. And that's what it's all about, man. I'm just getting them, I'm thinking them, and I'm sharing them. So... Because uh, I know we have a lot of listeners that are sitting back and exactly, you know, looking at this in the, with the way that you just described right now. Because if we don't know something, we're, we just, ah, I'm not sure about that. I don't, I don't want to try it. So the question is, that was uh, brought up to me and, and one that I'm sure is asked a lot. Well, you know, why do I need a mobile app if, if I've got a website that's mobile friendly? 
That's a great question. If you have a website that's mobile friendly, ask yourself the following question. When was the last time that your website actually called your customer on a sales call? I'm going to say that again because then you have to think about what I'm saying. When was the last time your website actually called a sales call to your customer? The answer to that is never. The fact of the matter is that your individual consumer is walking out there with a, a, a smartphone in his hand and a mobile software application allows you the ability to actually have your website send out a push notification that is a full-blown ad that shows up on the phone. It's not intrusive. You are asking permission. Once the ad is there, it's interactive. So if you're selling tickets to an event, if you're selling a, a pair of shoes, if you're selling a travel airline ticket, or if you're an attorney selling your services, you are promoting directly to the individual and those individuals in need which is your potential customer, can actually respond on interactive. So short answer, when was, the mobile, when was your website ever calling a customer? That's what a mobile app can do for you. Now, we live in a world where we're, we're trained, especially today, that, uh, and, and this is the opposite of, of what you're talking about, where you know, if we're in someone's face all the time, we're trying to push, 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 push our products and services and going out there just to make the sale, and and that's very you know in today's world people do not want to be sold to and and they and they really avoid you but what we're talking about here is just the opposite where you know you're actually it's what we call push marketing correct uh, correct you, you you're the, the little bit of clarification there's basically two types of marketing there's pull and push right pull is what we've all been accustomed to do we'll take that advertisement in a newspaper. Uh, we'll take the radio station ad. We'll take the, the all these ads out there. They're, you're hoping and praying that your consumer is going to have the coincidence of time, that all the elements are just right in place, so their need coincides with your ad when they run into it, and they will take advantage of that opportunity and contact you. Okay, so there's a lot, and that's why we're excited when we get a 2 to 3% return on our, our marketing efforts. Mobile returns, if you look at any of the statistics online, you'll find out that it varies from 30 to 40% return on marketing efforts because you don't know when the individual is going to need your service. He does or she does, but if you have a 24-hour, seven-day type of promotion that's going on all the time, meaning that you're engaging them by asking them questions about how they feel, what they're looking for, these are all things that are afforded through the marketing system plan that we are uh, discussing so that when the individual needs you, it's, they have you on their phone, much like if you have two or three apps that you use all the time, you have them because you have developed a need for those. And when you need them, they're right at a fingertip. You want to become that, that business. You want to become that entrepreneur that your customer has you at the fingertip when he or she needs you, not the inverse, which is what we're used to. You know, uh, shooting in the dark and hoping that we hit somebody. We got about a minute left, Jerry, and and uh, uh, we have good news uh, that uh, I want you to share with the listeners regarding if they have been considering getting a mobile application or through our conversations now they're really interested in getting one. What uh, what can we offer them? Well, if any if any one of your listeners, uh, a, a couple things first, all your guests can actually download your mobile application and continue engaging those individuals that were interested in the topics uh, that were being discussed. And uh, I am one of those that is very interested in getting back to school and pursuing my MBA. So I was very interested in your previous, and I hope that she would actually download your app and put her information there because that's how I would be contacting her. That's number one. Number two, if anyone did a search online for what does it cost to do a business application, a business mobile application, it's important that you look up business mobile applications because you otherwise – will receive too much information about games and things like that. So if you're looking, you'll find that the cost ranges from three to $8,000, the lowest price being $3,000. Through the mobile app and the agreement that we have for the next six months with, uh, with uh, Pete Delatore, uh, we will be offering a 50% discount on that rate. So for the average business, uh, we are looking at a 50% discount off the uh, the lowest rates that are already out there, and that includes the marketing plan and six months of support. So it's unbelievable what we're doing, um, but it's it's important that people become aware that this is one of the most effective marketing systems out there. If you were to pay everyone to carry a mobile app, you would have to pay a fortune. They're already doing it. Take advantage of it. 
My friend Jerry, we're, we are out of time here. Thank you so much. Uh, you'll be back again in a couple weeks as we go into the second phase of this, which is, of course, engagement. Thank you, buddy. Make it a great day. And, uh, again, what is the best way for the listeners to get a hold of you? Well, the best way, obviously, download your mobile application. I'm in there. And make sure that you uh, download and take advantage of all the other great listeners that appear on your show. If you want to reach out to any of their products and services, the best way to do it is download the mobile application. Their information will be in there. Thank you, my friend. Have a great day. God bless you. Take, take care. care. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to go to our traffic break and a Bloomberg update, but do not touch that dial because we're going to have the second half of the show and coming on the other side, Sally Viaba, New Dawn Enterprise, to talk about relationship building. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. And now, WZAB Traffic. In Miami-Dade County this morning, looking at a disabled vehicle blocking the left lane on State Road 112 westbound, uh, just east of Northwest 42nd Ave. Also looking at a crash on 95 southbound on the exit ramp to Ives Dairy Road. Looking at some delays in Miami-Dade County on 95 southbound from before Miami Gardens Drive to Northwest 62nd Street. In Broward County this morning, looking at delays on 595 eastbound between Southwest 136 Ave and Flamingo Road, with delays on 441 northbound between Sheridan Street and Sterling Road. That's your Miami area traffic. Futures decline before jobless claims from Bloomberg World Headquarters in New York. I'm Courtney Donahoe. Stock index futures falling, indicating the S&P 500 may decline for the first time in three days. Investors are waiting on data that might show an increase in U.S. jobless claims. Sales of previously owned homes probably rose in December, sending annual sales to the highest in seven years. Netflix, the world's largest subscription streaming service, surging after it projected customer growth at top down list estimates and said it may charge new users more to share accounts. Alcoa, the largest U.S. aluminum producer, dropping in the pre-market. Commodities producers declining in Europe following a retreat in prices for industrial metals after manufacturing data from China fell below economists' forecasts. And Lockheed Martin, the U.S. government's biggest contractor, said its fourth quarter profit plunged 14 percent as federal budget cuts sapped sales and led to a goodwill write-down and a job reduction charge. And that's a Bloomberg Market Minute. Attorney Eric Deeb owns and operates Atlantic Title and Escrow Services, a fully licensed and insured title company with a staff having over 25 years of combined experience. They are ready to take on issues as they arise and ensure a smooth and timely closing. The firm also works with distressed property owners to resolve their foreclosure issues via short sale with very favorable outcomes or via loan modifications with significant principal reduction. Please contact Attorney Eric Deeb at Atlantic Title and Escrow Services today at 305 854 2663. They come to Miami by air, land, and sea. They are businesses of all sizes and in numerous sectors. Some have a local presence, others a global reach. What they all have in common is housing their business at Miami International Commerce Center, one of South Florida's largest industrial business parks with over 3.5 million square feet of flexible space to fit every business requirement. Miami International Commerce Center represents the ideal business address for freight, flex, and warehouse uses. Conveniently located near Miami International Airport, Port of Miami, major thoroughfares, downtown, Miami International Commerce Centers, grow your business with us. 305-590-1515. Welcome back to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. And now, your host, Pete Delatore. Welcome back to the second half of the Pete Delatore Business Hour. Here on a beautiful morning in South Florida, we are broadcasting live from Miami, but again, heard around the world at 880thebiz.com, and we have a lot of listeners from different parts of the country in South America and beyond, and we welcome you and really appreciate you tuning to the show. And again, we're on every day, 8 to 9 a.m. here and talking about business, economic development in South Florida. Before we move on with our now bi-weekly Sally's Biz Tips... Let me tell you about Inspire HR. Hiring a great employee could become your greatest liability. If you aren't aware of all the agency's rules and regulations, the fines you receive could bank up your business or worse, you could end up losing your business entirely. But you don't need a full-time HR manager to stay compliant. All you need is Inspire HR. In February, 
They're starting a new series of workshops on how to protect your small business from an HR nightmare. See all the times and locations at their website, inspirehrmiami.com, or call their offices at 786-519-4471. You know, you've worked too hard to lose it all to an HR nightmare. Come and meet them at their workshop because they will help you sleep a little easier at night. Okay. We are now back once again for a exciting new segment on the program. We're calling it Sally's Biz Tips. We have Sally Viaba from New Dawn Enterprise, and she is an executive coach and uh, someone that is um, has got so much to offer, so much knowledge to share with all of our executives. Uh, we had a great segment, of course, speaking with uh, Rosangel Quintero from FIU on their programs. Sally can really share with you real-life scenarios and how to take you as a professional executive to the next level. And what she's going to focus on today is something that is absolutely critical. We assume, we hear about it, but it's on relationship building. And without further ado, good morning, Sally. How are you? Good morning, Pete. Good morning, listeners. Uh, I know you're enjoying this weather. I know you love it. Uh, I am. I am built up like an Eskimo right now. You've yes. got about five layers of jackets and coats and scarves and uh, gloves, etc. You would think it was below zero out there, but well, that'll be another day and another conversation there. All right. Tell us a little bit about what you want to share this morning. Well, actually, um, I have a lot of people ask me, so how can I be better at relationship building? And that got me into looking further, and I thought that that would be an interesting topic to bring it out here for all the the listeners. And, um, you know, the business world has evolved a lot. And small businesses as well as large companies have actually found the real reason to have your business running is to have your relationships. Mm -hmm. And the importance of having in building the relationships in your business. Because in all due honesty, as you and I were talking before, you have to have a relationship with your vendors, with your teammates, Mm -hmm. with your prospects, with your current clients, with your competitors. I mean, really, you're going to need them all the time. So because of that, I I, I started putting a couple of things together, and I came up with these great... um, Great tips, ideas, and, and tools, basically. It, it was, it's just tools for a better uh, relationship building. And, um, and if you don't mind me uh, sure. interjecting quickly here, um, relate, you know, if you were to ask anyone in business today, is it important to have good relationships with, you just mentioned, your prospects, your clients, so on and so on? They say, well, absolutely. Go well, great. So how are you actually implementing that culture? And I will tell you, and you know, we've we've talked about this. Um, it is appalling to look at the numbers of of folks that are just talking the talk and not really implementing this whole concept, which is you would think is a no brainer, but we 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 just assumed because we're nice and we got the business and we smile a lot that it's all going to fall into place. But no, and and you're going to share some thoughts on that. Well, a lot of people think also that building relationship is just to get to the point of the prospect to become a client. Right. And there ends the relationship and let somebody else take over the servicing and let somebody else take over whatever happens next. Mm-hmm. And you have a, a salesperson that has the floodgates open of prospects becoming clients, and then you have the floodgates of the back door opening of clients going away mm-hmm. uh, because they're – the, whatever they had offered as uh, a prospects were not being uh, as a consumer you were not giving what you were promised to mm-hmm. and and that's very very important which is one of the most important things you know you have to be honest you have to be ethical you have to say what you what you mean to say and and if you are going to provide somebody with uh information and say you know we're going to take care of you this is what we're going to do for you do it mm-hmm. you know be a person of your word. And in sales, unfortunately, uh, the majority, I cannot say, you know, that everybody is doing that. But in, unfortunately, uh, sales people, we, we get a bad rap because it, it's all, it's all about of pushing. Us. Yeah, and right. it's not. And it really isn't. And there are a lot of great people out there that really take building a relationship with their prospects, their clients to heart. 
and uh, and and I, I've known a lot of them. I worked with a lot of them, and 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 I could tell you that there is a lot out there. And, and that's why people don't want to be sold to. Now let's get into now what 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 I think is exciting for me is what are some of these real practical, powerful tips that you can share with us this morning? Well, for for starters, you have to build a good follow-up system. You can't leave it all to your brain. You need to have a good follow-up system. And a follow-up system doesn't mean that you're just going to call them when you need them. You're going to call them and you're going to touch base with them on a constant time, whether it's a a monthly, quarterly, uh, yearly basis. You touch your clients. You reach out and find out what they're up to what they're doing, uh, what can you be of service, you know, be a, also be a value, mm-hmm. be somebody that they can turn to, be a center of influence. You, not only you look for centers of influence for yourself, but be a center of influence for your clients, exactly. be a center of influence for the prospects, uh, be somebody that doesn't matter whether you get the business or not, you're there, you, you are an open door for advocacy, philanthropy, for the people that you know. Well, it goes with this, the right spirit of networking. The, the spirit of networking Correct. is really is to reach out and help someone else and gain interest in them as opposed to just trying to peddle your product. And an uh, interesting point you just brought up, people use it for networking, mm-hmm. but they don't use it for their current clients and customers and, and vendors, and they don't use it in-house. They exactly. use it to bring you in, but once you're in... They forget. Then you fall by by the way. And, Correct. And, and the thing that we, we, we forget is that everyone out there wants your clients. They're looking oh. they are coming after your clients and they are they are constantly And customers out. are are savvy now because of you know, a lot of things that have happened through the economy a couple of years now. Right. People are actually more in tuned of what is it that they want and where they're gonna spend their dollar and when they're gonna spend their time. And there is no loyalty any longer. Mm-hmm. So the you loyalty have to earn the loyalty. Correct. It's not a given. It's not and, a given. And, and that's and it's good because it sparks the marketplace and it makes better uh, relationship all around. Um, but into that, you you have to be always prepared. Be prepared to talk, to offer, to help, to give direction. Um, I mean, it's not make a conversation all about you. Obviously, you need to know about them, mm-hmm. but. Make it a point to to offer more than than what you're asking to to receive, um, and 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 therefore obviously be genuine at it. You know, people will respect you if you honestly don't know the answer to a question or do not have the tools that it takes. You know, well that's that old that old that old adage is 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 under promise and over deliver. But unfortunately, so many folks are over promising and really under delivering, and that's where the yeah. competitors or your competitors sitting out there and waiting for you just to make the first mistake, and then they come in there and it's like you said. The, the the consumer today, the clients are very savvy, and they they expect. They don't just uh, 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 oh yeah hope they expect service and in the right way. We got a couple of minutes left here. What else can you share with us? Because well, I, I think this is a great great topic. Well, something that's really important is uh, when you're actually going to reach out and 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 find out about somebody, make it personal. You know, send something that is tangible. Don't send them an email. Don't send them you know yeah. a. a whatever, or a text message or whatever, send an actual physical greeting card. Send a letter of appreciation as opposed to an email. Say thank you a lot. You can never go wrong by actually saying thank you. Mm-hmm. And and above all, I would believe, never forget who got you to where you are. Except- Every one of those people, whether they're a vendor, whether they're a competitor, especially your teammates, a client, never forget that you are where you are because of all of them. That's so, right. We never do anything alone. We we drive yeah. our processes, but we grow and we have a successful business because of, of surrounding ourselves with like-minded professionals. Mm. We're out of time. However, I know the listeners are going to have questions. They want to find out more about what you do and how you can help them build their relationships. What is the best way for them to talk directly to Sally? Well, you can email me at info at discoveringyourpossibilities.com. And uh, my cell phone is always available, 305-905-1164. Again, uh, info at discoveringyourpossibilities.com, which actually has uh, 
uh, giving me all the questions that I'm uh, putting in, in, the, in the radio show. So please, flood me. <laughs> flood Sally. Uh, again, every two weeks here, we do Sally's Biz Tips here on 880 AM The Biz every, th- every other Thursday. Thank you so much. You're this very has been welcome. Very, very enlightening. And you can never hear this topic enough. And every time I know for me I hear um, a, a topic like this, I always learn something new and, and I get a reminder as well. So thank you very much. And uh, that, by the way, is our biz development tip of the day. Uh, I figured, you know, uh, S- Sally's got a great topic. Let's go for it. So she just gave you your biz development tip of the day. So thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. We're going to go to a short break. And when we come back, we are going to bring on Clara Serrano, Freedom Concierge Service, to tell us about what is happening around town. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Pete De La Torre Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. Having trouble losing those extra pounds? Don't diet. Eat smart with Fit to Go. Fit to Go's balanced meals help you maintain a healthy lifestyle and lose weight the right way. Designed by a chef and a dietitian. Fit to Go offers great flavors and varieties with no contracts or commitment. Just pay as you go. Call Fit to Go to schedule your free meal today. 305-718-3858. Attorney Eric Deeb owns and operates Atlantic Title and Escrow Services, a fully licensed and insured title company with a staff having over 25 years of combined experience. They are ready to take on issues as they arise and ensure a smooth and timely closing. The firm also works with distressed property owners to resolve their foreclosure issues via short sale with very favorable outcomes or via loan modifications with significant principal reduction. Please contact attorney Eric Deeb at Atlantic Title and Escrow Services today at 305-854-2663. Admin eSolutions believes that your website is the centerpiece of your marketing. They believe that your website should convey credibility and trust. They believe in producing results and they guarantee it. When you're looking for a new website and you want to go to the next level, you need to call Admin eSolutions, 561-272-8567, or visit their website, adminesolutions.com. Your website should produce leads and work for you. The time to redesign your website is now. I'm Bill Gross, certified public accountant and certified financial planner and president of Gross Financial Services. I've been helping individuals plan and secure their retirement for over 30 years. One of the ways we can do this is with our new 5.75 annual percentage yield paid monthly program backed by major insurance companies. Call me toll free at 866-684-1224. That's 866-684-1224. Welcome back to the Pete Delatore Business Hour here on 880 AM The Biz. And now, your host, Pete Delatore. Okay, welcome back, my friends. We've got a few minutes left on our show this morning. Uh, the show, of course, that we do every day is about you. Please let me know your thoughts on the program. Visit my website, PeteDelatore.com. Of course, don't forget, we've been talking about it. Download my free mobile application to search for Pete Delatore. No spaces in between. It's free, and this is a great way for you to interact, get to see what's going on with the program, and, of course, ask us questions and give you your comments and feedback. Follow me on Twitter. It's at Pete Radio Show. Love for you to like my Facebook page, Pete Delatore Business Hour, and connect with me on LinkedIn. Okay, on the line now, we have... Clara Serrano, who is, of course, Freedom Concierge Services and our around town reporter. So what's happening there, Clara? Good morning, Pete. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. Good, Beautiful good. weather, huh? Beautiful weather. Reminds me of, of, of up north, of course. Of course. We get a little reminder, and it's it's uh, it just, I, for me, it's very invigorating and energizing. So on that line, what is exciting and energizing about this weekend here around town. So I know that you were just talking about all your different social media outlets. So 
All that time wasted diddling with your smartphone may actually qualify you as a true artist. Thank you to the new Instagrammers Gallery in Wynwood, a showcase of photography by social media addicts with a flair for selecting the right filter. The place will highlight Instagram users from around the world and down the street in an attempt to draw people's eyes up from their phones. As we know, the art world here in Miami is booming, and this is just a little different form of art. The Instagrammers Gallery opened early in December with two exhibits, a collection of images taken by more than a dozen Instagrammers from around the world, as well as the work of Miami-based Instagrammers. The Instagrammers Gallery is located at 2324 North Miami Avenue, and their hours of operation are 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Wednesday, and on Fridays and Saturdays. So stop by this weekend. Go take a look at the Instagram pictures that are out there. So we also know that the Miami Heat can play ball, but can they sing, Pete? Find out if your favorite Miami Heat basketball players can hit those high notes at Shane Battier's annual South Beach Battioke, a celebrity karaoke fundraising taking place on January the 27th at the Fillmore Miami Beach. Check out players like Chris Bosch and D. Wade and even coaches and executives as they take a break from the business of basketball to raise money for the Battier Take Charge Foundation, a program funded by Shane and his wife, Heidi, to help at-risk high school students earn scholarships for college. The first 100 ticket buyers will receive a ticket autographed by Shane upon arrival. Tickets are 150 and you can purchase them at www.takechargefoundation.org backslash take charge, or you can purchase them at the door. Also going on here, well, actually nearby in Key Largo is the Seafood Key Largo Stone Crab and Seafood Festival going on this Saturday and Sunday. They will be showcasing live entertainment, fireworks, cooking demos, fishing workshops, and a costume contest along with the freshest seafood that Key Largo can offer. Key Largo Seafood and Stone Crab Festival is taking place at 1045 Zero zero Overseas Highway at Key Largo, and again, that's this Saturday and Sunday, and it's sure to be a lot of fun for the entire family, Pete. That is terrific. I mean, there, it's it's everywhere you look. Every weekend, there's so much going on, and it's there's something out there for everyone. I'm not just thinking right now about these Heat players singing. That's got to be hilarious. That's that is going to be very hilarious, Pete. I uh, I don't know if their if their singing skills are as good as their basketball skills, but I'm sure it'll be very entertaining nonetheless. Very entertaining. Listen, uh, Clara, we got about a minute left. Uh, let's let's wrap it up. I know you. you have, do you have something else you want to share? No, that's uh, that's that's, that's it. Well, there's a lot out there, my friends, as you can tell. For more information on what's going on around town, how can they? How can the listeners get a hold of you? Well, the best way is uh, by phone. I'm available at 786-307-3574. But, of course, I also have my website, www.freedomconciergeservices.com. And I'm also available on all the social media outlets under Freedom Concierge Services, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Foursquare. You can catch me on all of them. I'm sure we can. Hey, Clara, thank you so much. This has been great as usual. Likewise, Pete, thank you so much. Have a fun, fun weekend, okay? Take care of yourself. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, my friends, that wraps it up for today. Again, another fast-moving show. Great, great discussions. Uh, Unbelievable. Thanks to all my guests. And, uh, again, it's, it's about you making sure you, the listeners, are getting information that can help you take your business to the next level. So thank you so much for being part of the show. Tomorrow what I want to do is share... Uh, Again, a very interesting article that uh, South Florida Business Journal came up with, uh, three steps businesses can take to guard against password apocalypse. Very, very important. A lot of stuff is going on out there. It's important for you to listen to that tomorrow and all of our guests. Thank you so much. Make it a great day. Be profitable. And God bless.
Thank you for tuning in to the Pete De La Torre Business Hour, your home for late-breaking news on business opportunities and economic development in South Florida. Tune in again tomorrow at 8 a.m. for the Pete De La Torre Business Hour, here on 880 AM The Biz.